Hello and welcome to Travel Shots Live. There's my buddy Moo. Mer. You all know you've been waiting in anticipation. Anticipation. Making you wait. Y'all know that song from the 70s? If you do, you're as old as I am. <laughs> anyway, we already know from the title of the video, I am in Krakow. Poland, baby. I made it to Poland. Actually, yeah, they pronounce it Krakow, but the way it's spelled in my American English, I say Krakow because they spell it K-R-A-K-O-W, but the locals call it Krakow, like with an F or a V at the end. I'm going to have to get used to just like the Budapest, Budapest thing from my last series. You know what I mean, but yeah, Day First day, day one in Krakow, Poland, and of course, it can't be complete without me showing you my new Airbnb. So, before I tell you how much I paid for the place for the 28 days I'm staying, and I'm also going to let you know how much I paid for my groceries, which was cheaper than Budapest, mind you, um, yeah, so far so good, I'm pretty much impressed. But I'm going to bring you more of the city as the month as the month unwinds. Don't worry. This is just day one. So, I mean, I know you're excited. Let's get it. Let's show the apartment first. Okay. What? This is my bed. Look, nice window. You're probably seeing a guy walking up. You know why? Because I am right smack next to a little park. I have another window. I'll show you outside the window in a minute. Look at this. Nice living room and couch. Oh man, and this girl really, really loves to decorate. And I'm gonna tell you what, I am her first rent. She put this on Airbnb, it is a brand new listing. Here's outside, isn't that gorgeous? That's the park. And if you look straight across, that's one of the main roads and the tram runs right smack in front of me. But with all the windows closed, you don't even hear the tram at night or nothing. There it is, here it comes, see it? It's blue and white. Isn't that cool? There's the tram. So I'll be getting on the tram pretty soon. There is a bus stop close to me. But yeah, I'm on the corner. I love the trees. It's just now sunny and blue. I came in yesterday, late yesterday, and it was uh, cloudy, and it busted out some kind of crazy hailstorm. Hello! I'm gonna show you, you know, all the goodies, all the hidden nooks and crannies. This lady's got everything. All the nooks and crannies, you know? You gotta know about everything, right? So that's one of her closets. You open this up, it's so much room. Like I, I don't even need all this obviously because when you're traveling like me, I just have a few choice items. But she's got plenty of storage space. Like it's insane. Okay, now that I've showed you that, let me show you, it wraps around. Look at this. Well, that's the kitchen, but look at all the books she's got. And you know, I love to read and I actually found some, uh, <laughs> I won't even read that title. You can see that one. <laughs> I found some books in English. So yeah, man, actually I'm going to really get into, Ooh, here's something's in American. Uh, it's written in something Hawaii. Look at this girlfriend works out. I can use her weights. Look at the size of these weights. <laughs> I'm not using those, but I can definitely lift these. And I've been, I used her yoga mat this morning. Oh man, and something else that was really nice. These stretch bands, if you guys are into that. Man, that is the best leg stretches ever. I love using those. I haven't used that in years. But look at her lovely kitchen nook. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And you know what's so cool? And here's an extra window in the back. 
lovely plants, the heater. It's cool out now. In fact, it's just now warmed up enough where I can open the window. You know, I actually saw a red squirrel out here, guys. Yeah, I'm not kidding. A red squirrel. I've never seen red squirrels in my life. Isn't that beautiful? They're working out here. This guy's out here working on this wall. There's the garbage. I literally just go downstairs and around the corner and dump my trash. But here's my kitchen. As you can see, isn't this beautiful? I love her her decorations. Like, and look at this refrigerator now. Come on, come on. This is a girl after my own heart with all of these magnets. I freaking love magnets. She's been everywhere, everywhere from Bali, London, Scotland, Tokyo. Seattle, California, Las Vegas, Idaho. Oh my God, like everywhere, right? In fact, here's proof that she lived in the state. She's got a, well, you see that? A Washington license plate. <laughs> Super badass, but I wanted to show you, let me show you, okay, this is the entrance. Just wanted to, show you what she's got up here, hats and everything to use, coat rack, and of course the bathroom. Look at the swag of this bathroom. Now, come on, like swag, swag, swag. I love the pink Buddha. And again, I'm here, hello, hello. I love it. It's so modern, like, Look at this, this is like a brand new washing machine to you. I can't wait to use it. <laughs> I have not used it yet. Girlfriend, I'm gonna tell you what. Oh, the rain shower, yes. Can we say y'alls? These are my, my shampoo and soap, but she had some stuff stocked in there. Very nice, right? Super modern. Okay, and before I tell you how much I paid for this place, I really want to show you what I got for my grocery haul. Now, oh, let me tell you this before I show you the groceries. You see all this? You ain't seen nothing yet. All of this came with the apartment. And she said I can use anything in this apartment. Anything. Look at all of this. She's got sauces of the yin-yang, oils, all kinds of rice, you name it. Girlfriend's got it all, man. Like I showed you up here, this is my stuff. I brought this from the last apartment, oatmeal, some spices and nuts and seeds. I didn't know what she'd have over here, but all this tea is free. And she's got the cutest dishes. That's just some of them, as you can see. I mean, Look at this. This girlfriend has got it stocked to the brim. And like I said, she said, use anything you want. I'm just blown away. But anyway, check out this super, this is called an induction oven. It's so cool. Let's see how, <laughs> I don't have my glasses on, but anyway, I think, yeah, you press one of the buttons you get the picture. It's got four burners. It doesn't even like it doesn't even turn red, but it heats it up real fast. Really cool. But anyway, this is my grocery haul, guys. Look at all this food I just got at the local grocery store, which was six minute walk from me. So I'm gonna walk you through what I bought. Two packs of cinnamon, eggs, pack of pork, two butters. There's a uh, red pepper, garlic, onion, a couple of limes. It's more onion. Okay, fruit. We got some bananas, an apple, a nectarine or something like that. Here's the local pear. This is their local produce. I got a big bag of Brussels sprouts, wax beans, tomatoes. Um, this is dill, because I like dill in my soup, mushrooms, big old big bag of 
white beans. Uh, they call them orange lentils. This is millet. And of course, blueberries and spinach. Yeah, buddy. How much in the world do you think I spent on all that food? How much do you think that would cost me in the United States? I haven't been in the States in a couple years, but I can almost bet with inflation, that food there would cost me $100 easy. Do you know what I paid? 33 bucks, baby. That's it for all that food. And I can tell you that the millet, lentils, and the beans will last me all month long. I won't have to buy it again. The butter, the meat, the eggs will last me two weeks. So I only have to buy it again one more time. The spices and everything she's got in here, I don't even have to touch that. And the fruit and veggies, of course, I'll probably have to buy by the week. But there, I actually went to the local grocery store to get this haul. But there is an actual produce stand that's five minute walk to. Next time I just go get produce and I don't need anything else, I'll just go get the produce, which will probably be even cheaper than the grocery store. Now, you know, the girlfriend comes with the receipts, right? You want me to tell you how much? I told you 33 bucks, I can prove it. Now remember, the currency here, uh, one US dollar is actually equal to four of their, they call it a Zolski, I believe is their currency. Z-O-L-S-K-Y. Of course, you know I'm killing it. I'm not pronouncing it right. But it's a one to four ratio, okay? So when I took out $100 out of their ATM when I got here yesterday, it was equal to $156 in their money. Or no, I'm sorry. I took out $600 in their money, sorry. And it was equal to $156 in my money. So 156 to my 600, okay? So now you can get an idea of the currency. So here's the receipt. I'm gonna show you the receipt here. And then I'll, I'll show you what their money looks like. Really cool. But right here, if you see the receipt, see that? 124.27. So when you convert that in today's currency, it's roughly 33 American dollars. That's the grocery receipt. That's where I went. It's got a picture of a, a ladybug on it. Cute, right? And here's what all of their language looks like. <laughs> anyway, here's their money. See, it looks like it's a hundred dollar bill, y'all, right? Yeah, but it's not worth a hundred US dollars. Remember, it's a one to four ratio. And look how tiny they're, I call them pennies. These are worth one, like one cent. Look how tiny that is. This is a nickel or a five. This is a 20. This one right here is a 50. Sorry guys, that's a 50. So 50, 20, five, and one, 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 and then a hundred. Now of course I got more, but I just wanted to show you what some of their money looked like. Okay. Now, what did I pay? for the Airbnb. I know you're dying. You're dying. You're like, girlfriend, what did you pay for this? I paid. And it was $200 cheaper than what I paid in Budapest. And you saw what I got in Budapest. If you missed that video, go watch my um, Airbnb video and you'll see what I paid over there. I paid $1,100 for that apartment in Budapest. I paid $900 for this apartment in Krakow, Poland. Yes, 900 bucks, Wi-Fi included. Oh, and by the way, the Wi-Fi is good. It's like excellent, fast, fast Wi-Fi. My last place, the Wi-Fi didn't work on my laptop. Remember I told you that? It works on my laptop here and my phone. Um, I can't tell you about the SIM card yet because I have I don't need to buy it as of yet. I actually have some data left over from Budapest that carries over into this country. 
Um, and when it runs out, then I'll be able to give you an update because I'll probably have to buy a cheap SIM card just to get me through the rest of the month. It'll probably last me two weeks. Maybe if I'm lucky, it might last me the whole month. So it could be a $0 charge, right? I don't know, but uh, so far so good. So far so good. So there I am. I am now here in the Krakow land of Polish people. And last night I did order, um, I ordered some, what you call delivery food. Cause I didn't get here till like five o'clock last night. And it cost me 20 bucks, but I bought two meals to last me for last night and this morning. And I got a dessert with it. It was a local Polish restaurant. And guess what it was? Pierogies. I love pierogies. My grandmother used to make them. And I have ate pierogies from all around the world, wherever I can get them. And nobody compared to my grandmother. Nobody. I'm going to tell you what. Polish pierogies are just like my grandmother's. When I ate it, I was like, oh my God, be still my heart. A taste of my grandmother's cooking, for real, for real girlfriend. So anyway, I'm happy so far and I can't wait to bring you more of this exciting adventure in Poland. So stick around. If you haven't already subscribed, please do because we got so much more going on. You don't want to miss it. And, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you'd like the video, it's totally up to you. I don't force anybody to do anything. Like I said, it's all up to you to subscribe or to like, but it is appreciated and it does help the algorithms to push this video out to other people so that they can discover the beauty and joy of Krakow, Poland. And don't forget to drop me a comment if you have any travel questions and share the video with the world. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Can't wait to show you more. Just like me and Moo. Where's Moo? Oh, he's over there. <laughs> Told you it's unedited. Peace out. Love you.